it's uh, this is the 15th show and since the second show i have taken over as chairman and we come a long way yes over the lapse of 3 years we couldn't have the hotel show and getting back into gear was something that was very challenging and also getting stall holders who were the suppliers for the hotel industry for them to import is an issue of imports and how we import how do you how do we also challenge ourselves in making local supplies more eff effective and efficient <music> well there is elements of one is the hardware what you see you know your bed your quality of the bed quality of the linen uh, all that is uh, the hardware part of it and then of course the service the service side we help we do we have trained around 500 people during the hotel show journey which we have gone to different regions training them in bed making training them in coffee making baristas then we do uh, something called ceylon tea masters cup which we say about uh, ceylon tea promoting ceylon tea tea brewing tea mixology and tea pairing and similarly we have the bar chance program as well which again takes about 150 people who are joining produce making them to come out with innovative products using local ingredients so the whole uh, stay this time we have put the hotel show as produce of sri lanka so most of the exhibitors here there are a lot of them who are producing a lot of very good equipment produced in sri lanka as well as uh, we having a business gathering that taking sri lankan produce using sri lankan produce and doing international dishes the western dishes we don't say lose log sri lankan and make a curry no uh, we making ravioli out of maneri you know maneri grain and as well as kollu and uh, kurakan so that some some of the differences without using just uh, for in uh, for a ravioli stuffing it we are using kura kola and local cheese curd buffalo cheese curd so that's the side of a thing that we want people to look we are doing risotto without using the italian rice but we are using ceylon wild rice to make a risotto so all those changes are several using the seafood of sri lanka the usage of it and we have some of the lost ingredients like uh, sri lankan seaweed which we don't use we import from japan the seaweed whether it's wakame whether it's a norishi is imported from japan but here we are taking uh, farming it in uh, mana and using that product and to make our salads to to you uh, use those products with our seafood so that's something that we really want our chefs and everybody else to know that you can produce good international dishes from sri lankan produce we are the diamond sponsor this is the third session we are doing diamond sponsorship continue we have observed some improvements like you know tourist arrivals have increased recent past so this is a good sign i think uh, there will be a good uh, good chance for the industry people like us who provide the services for the hotel yes Uh, there are a lot of restriction for importations so that has uh, basically there are two sides 
one way it's a good sign because we have a, our local manufacturing products. There's a good demand. We started manufacturing what we have not manufactured earlier because it was restricted. So because of that, I think this is good for us. Thank you.